two weeks ago, we reported on a murder of a 17 year old boy. Thank you for joining us at six. I'm Taylor Long. Rashad Biggs Jr. was murdered outside of a gateway gas market on July 18th. Weeks later, his mother sat down with First News reporter Megan Lee. She's outside the funeral home where his memorial was held. Megan. Yeah, Rashad Biggs Jr.'s death became, came very unexpectedly for his mother, Kristen Biggs. She sat down with me today to speak of who he was and how he can be remembered and plans for moving forward. Honestly, words truly can't describe how I feel. I'm completely heartbroken. Kristen Biggs just lost her 17-year-old son about two weeks ago. Rashad Biggs Jr. was murdered along South Avenue on July 18th. Kristen says her son was a phenomenal kid. He was just phenomenal. He was extremely, extremely talented. Like he, like I could cry watching him play basketball when he, and football. Kristen said he was not only a great son, but a great big brother, a great friend. She believes that his smile was contagious. He had such a such a beautiful smile that like just will just light up the room. Anyone who came in contact with him, that smile. He had those pearly whites. He would say, "Just an amazing kid." Kristen has had to grieve the loss of her husband, Rashad Biggs, who was murdered about two years ago, and now she has to grieve the loss of her son. She said it's a pain that nobody should have to go through. People say, for, oh, you're so strong, but I always tell people if you could, if my inside could display my outside, I don't even know how I'm standing. You know, it's, it's, it's a pain no, per, no human, you know, should feel or have to experience. Kristen has plans on starting a foundation for her son. She believes the violence can be stopped from inside the home before it happens on the street. Now her mission is to work towards preventing it from happening to others.